Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, trying to fix uh, some technical issues with Priya in the background. Until then, uh, let me talk about uh, what uh, the Global Empowerment Summit and what it is and what you can get out of it. Thank you very much for watching. And I see all of you here. Uh, just to start a little bit, please tell me where are you tuning in from? Because that's the whole purpose of, of this summit to show you around, to make you visible and to tell the people where are you tuning in from. Please write your countries right into the into the chat and uh, tell me uh, how was your day? What did you eat for breakfast so that we can connect a little bit before Pia is jumping in the studio? So please try. And uh, the first thing that you have to type is where are you tuning in from? So this session is with Priya Mishra. She wrote a book, a beautiful book that you could see in the in the previous banners. And it's about the journey of perseverance. And uh, she she was right in the background, so I can bring her up now. Let's see whether the voice is going through and whether she can join us straight away. In the meantime, please don't forget to put in the comments where are you tuning in from? Uh, what's your country? And what do you want to get out of this summit? We are here with you for five consecutive weeks. We started last week. Uh, we already had 40 live sessions uh, from 29th of September. And this week, it's almost 50 live sessions that you can join, interviews. We have the IVLD uh, Youth Summit coming on this weekend. We have a lot of different uh, different things workshops we have 11 workshops for free just for you this week where you can join the experts uh, straight away you got the information already into your email box and i also updated the website with today's topics and today's time zones and everything so please go there visit www.globalempowermenthub.com and you will find all the information let's bring priya in the studio Hi, Priya. How are you today? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. Sorry for the inconvenience and the technical uh, problems. <laughs> no problem. You are here with us and we are really, really happy. And the audience uh, maybe doesn't know that Priya is someone who is really believing in my dream. And he's the sponsor of the event. She is the sponsor of the event and she is helping me and supporting all the way. And I'm really, really thankful for this, Priya. Welcome. Right. This is our second session here. and. Yes. We are here to talk about your book and the title is The Journey of Perseverance. So tell us a little bit more about it, uh, what's behind it. When it's about the story, it's also about the author. So tell us a little bit more first about yourself and then after how did it start? Why did you want it to write this book? See, the uh, um, who I am, um, Priya Mishra, um, and I live in Sydney. I'm, I'm a migrant from India, and my journey started in a very persuasive way. And I found my whole achievement is quite a based on journey of perseverance uh, attitude, right? So I thought I should write a book on that topic one day. Uh, long time ago, my father was very persuasive, so he actually mentioned it and. Uh, it mentioned it to my husband and then, you know, of course, I have to start this book. So I'm very, very proud of that. I have completed It's kind of a bucket list. I have ticked mark and um, it, the journey of perseverance is like a story of a little girl who started at the age of 10 and it, she was very, very particular what she wants. Um, and also she was uh, when when she uh, went to a, pro a small school, she said, I'm not going to sit in the ground. My father said, why baby because we are not born in the king family and i said then i'm gonna become one <laughs> right so i haven't become the king yet but i am in, in i'm trying to live a dream where i i can live a life where i feel a king and a queen in myself and i feel pl pleased and fulfilled every day so thankfully I have achieved what I wanted to achieve in terms of fulfillment of my life. And I won't look back and regret um, and say, oh, I want to change this or I want to change that. So I'm very proud of what I have achieved. And so do my parents are. So and thank you for the people who have actually been believing in me throughout my journey. And that's why I always trust in believing the people who are initiating. And that was was the cause to i'm a very selfish person so i believed in you because i believed in myself <laughs> so let's let's play the video one more time so that the people know what are the, what is the book that you're talking about and then we will get to the title and how did it how was it born and So 
So the book is out. Uh, you already have this one. People can already. Uh, and let's just talk about a little bit what's behind the book, uh, what's behind the title, uh, what will people get if they, if they, you know, uh, read this book. What's what's the benefit for them? See, when people will le um, read this book, they are gonna really like uh, in terms of uh, what I'm getting the feedback that people are liking and able to correlate with them. It is not the journey of Priyamvada Misha. It is the journey of the people who are like me, the people who wants to become something, who has the dream and the vision. And, you know, if vision is something which you can see what people wants to see in you or vision is something where you can foresee uh, where you want to head and where you want to reach ultimate goal. Um, and that's where if you can, uh, we, you can see that vision, then you just keep your eyes on that and you keep go growing and going up towards that. And I always believed um, that I should write a book which can be uh, not just, okay, I'm just a medium, but there are so many people like me. I always say it's a common people word. And the people who can see who has those rejection problem, who has those vision is, uh, um, pre issues, or if they have the vision, they have the ideas and, and they ha they don't have the fearless creativity. Uh, it, this is the story of the everyone, every common human being, and especially from the Indian background, being me, me Indian background, quite a lot of circumstances, people can correlate with me. Uh, when I go to the next journey where people wants to think about how do I choreograph my act, how I'm going to make my dance, how I'm going to hit my, uh, you know, last note again and again, you know, um, and the masterpiece, how I can create so that I can build a unique proposition, how I'm going to think about neurological programming, um, behavioral psychologists, I'm not trained in that, but how I'm going to observe the human behavior and actually pursue pursue them and implement my thoughts and dream so that they can actually uh, start following um, my work and my my dream and uh, start helping me towards that. So it's a very connecting story for those people. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. And, and it's really something that people can relate to because we are all having some kind of a journey now, a very interesting journey, which is... Yeah different for everyone the perspective is different but the the challenge is the same the the things that we are facing now is the same so it's exactly some something that can help the people to get out of this uh, stuck state that many of us are in yeah. uh, Selma is saying I love the show great women are in the house keep inspiring others <laughs> thank you very much Felma for the comment and then we, we are happy that you are here for yourself and that you are part of our journey and that you show yourself and you are visible and we can we can support you also back so thank you very much for being here Falmar. so let's let's just go back to the book and let's let's explain further um what would be the thing that would be something to, to worth to mention like can you read a, a little bit of from the book uh, can you you know explain yeah. one part of the book uh, so. I was actually dying for that because <laughs> I would like to read a poetry actually um, I have written at the end of the book and I'm not sure um, if you have got a chance to read that um, Andrea but it's a beautiful story of a description of me what thoughts were going on when I was writing this um, and it is the story of let the bird fly so the poetry goes like that almighty God let the bird fly let her build her home to live and die. Let her make the song she sings. Let her take the flight she try, uh, uh, tries. Let her play with the water she dips in. Let her flow with the wind she chooses. Let her imagine the map she wants. Let her choose the height she flies. Let her choose the time to relax. Let her nurture the eggs she led. Let her feel the pride she earned. Let her feel the rest she wanted. Let her feel the rest she wanted. Let her go the way she chattered. Let her soul rest she panted. So let the bird fly. You know? That's a beautiful. summarization. 
<laughs> of my thought, you know, going on during that time. Yeah. Can I ask a little bit more about the time and uh, why this analogy is so important for you, uh, the the bird and to fly? Uh, I'm a very ambitious person, and uh, and that came because of my parents. My parents are always very encouraging, and I grew up in an environment where not where many people were not encouraging women to go and choose their own path. Um, even forget about the woman. The, the, there was an era when parents were actually defining what the children is gonna do, um, especially in Indian culture. And my parent, my parents were very particular about educating five sisters, you know, a small village, and they were not hesitant to help us support it despite all that arts they have been going through, um, you know. And I always say that that nurturing, that love, that caring, that emotion. Um, yes, we were poor. Yes, we were um, hungry, but there was no lack of love in the environment and, and there was no lack of support in the family. And um, it never, nobody asked me, no, you can't think like that, right? So that's why it's so much correlate. Uh, when I think back, I feel like, oh, everybody was like saying, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Of course, they were questioning sometimes here and there, but um, they were more supportive than actually criti criticizing. And healthy criticism is not a big problem, but if, when it becomes suppressing uh, criticism, then it, it it stops your growth. And I was one of the lucky one who did not go through those you know situations. So that's why I was able to correlate at that uh, for, from those time to this time actually. Thank you very much, Jasmine. Jasmine is saying such a beautiful read. And uh, mm -hmm. she also loved the thought about vision and wanting people to see something in you. It's really, really nice uh, that Thank you shared with us, uh, Jasmine. Um, if you, who is this book for? I mean, it's normally, you know, not every person is resonating with every book. So when you were writing this book, who was in your mind? Who is your audience that you would like to give this book? So my my book is very much related to the people who are um, you know scared of uh, in dreaming, who are scared of flying, who are scared of uh, becoming something, and um, who who thought our oh, rejection was a problem. Um, I I brought all that aspect of it, and I said yes, it is a rejection, but that's not the end goal. They're, these are just a hur hurdles, you know. You have to keep going. So for me, the people who wants to start their business or be in their business for three years, five years, seven years in the business, they will get a lot in it. It's not just an inspirational story. There are a lot of insight, self help concept that where they can read and they can understand. Oh, I can try that, and I should try that, you know. And so this is for the basic basically entrepreneurs and business owners, all people who wants to start their own journey, um, no matter where it is, even if in, in their careers, they can actually, there are some things they can actually resonate and feel that, you know, oh, I, I this, this is what I can try in my life, even in my career and as well as in the entrepreneurial journey. So that was my, my target, um, whosoever can uh, correlate with the hardship and also achievements and have the vision and want to reach somewhere. And the vision is so important. Uh, I mean, this is something that is um, moving people and it can be motivational, right? So yeah. the vision is something that you have in front of you, like, okay, for me, I will always talk from my perspective because I'm building this digital ecosystem. So my vision is that all the purpose-driven will come to this airport kind of platform that I'm building and I can connect them and they can work together and they can support each other. They can give donation to people. They can earn money. They can. It can be a trusted, safe place to just to connect. So that's my vision and it's driving me forward. And you can also explain from your perspective, like what is your vision? What is your vision? for this book for the people who are resonating with it and people who are reading it and also your work because you are doing amazing work out there yeah so the way i actually myself my vision is actually um i i believe you don't need millions and billions of dollars yeah, i mean those are the material words as long as you are satisfied with your journey as long as you are fulfilled and you're not regretting oh i didn't try that um you have taken the risk you are supposed to be taking you have given your 100 percent. i always believe in progress is better than perfection so you keep progressing 
and you reach to your uh, dream that's where all the story you know uh, comes to it it comes to all your own fulfillment right and we all human being is psychologically actually wired for that you know we all seek for that fulfillment that ground um, grounded position um, that's why you can see a lot of um, uh, millennials and billionaires are actually becoming more philanthropists giving back to the society why because that's giving you fulfillment you know every every charity work i do every help i actually provide to the society i always believe that you know it's not for them it's for my own satisfaction you know i always joke about it like i'm a very selfish person i do everything for my own satisfaction you know and i believe in you know believe in people because i believe in self i help people because i want to satisfy myself i like those smiles because i want to feel happy myself right so their smile is going to define my smile uh, their their sleep is going to help me to sleep better and that's where my vision is and i'm i'm glad gladly able to say that i am able in my with my knowledge and you know with my conscious i i try to achieve that vision and help and of course the career growth and all is it does matter but it is not the ultimate process so it's all about life and the end it's all about each other or all about supporting people all about being fulfilled right and yeah. it's not a problem and i want to talk about this because you are mentioning so many times that i'm very purpose driven i know what i want i am very charismatic I, i i love what i do and i'm very confident about it and it's really rare to see people so confident in their in their shoes and to go for their business and say that you are selfish and, and to you know accept the fact that you are doing this for yourself because this is what you love to do and you acknowledge yourself also that you are giving value to the people through your work which yes. is another step so it's yeah. kind of like a, a very strong statement and people are like wow wow this girl is selfish this lady is selfish here but then if you think about what is behind the word selfish it's I am here for myself so that I can be there for you right Priya yeah because uh, one of my mentors says you can't give something you don't have fine if you don't have a happiness you can't give you don't have a fun you can't give you don't have a money you can't give right so i always believed that i have to have something which i can give back right um so that's that's very much important for me even if suppose i i'm sacrificing enough that i'm going to sleep hungry tonight and i'm going to feed somebody else for that also i have to have at least one person food right i have to have those things right and that's why i i believe that let me be happy let me fly let me achieve the uh, the goals i want to achieve so that i can actually service that to the larger audience you know i am becoming a medium and a process and i am becoming uh, like in in christianity um, i have heard this uh, pro- so many of my friends and mentors has been mentioning in christianity people talk about that you know you have to give back to the society you have to have the harmonious society you know and th- this is so much important for you uh, for you that you feel happy in hinduism people say that you know if you god will only help you if you help yourself right so i i accommodate that and you know in gita in hindu book sanskrit it is written, written that if your karma you know you you have to focus on your karma if you focus on your karma the fruits will come follow fruits will come anyway and for me that's law of attraction i'm focusing where i need to go i'm focusing what i'm going to do i'm focusing without hurting anybody right the the thumb rule is that you are not going to hurt, hurt anybody you can't be cruel you are not going to you know either way human, like whether it is mental or a physical any time kind of a hurtful situation you are not creating because you are going to succeed if your success you have to compromise to keep someone else's mental and physical health um, proper then i would sacrifice my career even which i love so much right but at the same time without hurting anybody if i'm going in a right direction and if i can sleep well i think i'm in a right way and you, know, you mentioned something very important here so selfishness and uh, taking care about your ego in a positive way it's something that shouldn't hurt people and this is something that is it's kind of like a circle it's it's a circle of life that 
someone mentioned this yesterday in one of the talks that hurt people hurt people. I think it was mm. proposal. Because if you are hurt and you don't heal, right, then you will hurt people. But if you are someone who recognizes that hurt and recognizing that, that you need to heal and you heal, then your healing will bring strength. And when you are strong enough, you have, like I, I'm a dancer, like your core value, yeah. your core balance is, is there, you are strong enough, then you can start to help others. And yes. you will never have the thought in yourself to hurt people because yeah. you are already healed, right? Yeah. So it's, it's an amazing now, process. I always believe you have to treat others the way you want it to be treated, right? So you, if you want to respect, you have to respect people. You want need to care, you have to care people, right? And long time ago, when I was very little, I started going to, you know, I was journeying you know, from my village to the city. It was three hours morning, three hours evening train journey to go to school. Um, very little children, 10 and a half, 11 years old child. And I was bragging about it in my village that I go to city to study, <laughs> you know, and my father called me, come here. And he showed me a palm tree and he said, count how many fruits are there. I counted five, six fruits were there. And um, then he asked me to count the mango tree fruits. And he said, how many fruits are there? And I'm like, I said, I don't know. It's too many. I can't count it. So my father said that, you know, that's why you can count those fruits. So it, it has less fruits and it's, it's standing. It's, it's straight, you know, egoistic, right? And look at the fruits who has more fruits. They are more humble. They are bending down. You can't even count it, but they are not actually bragging about it, right? So I learned my lesson, <laughs> right? If you have more fruits, you have to be humble enough, right? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So it's another analogy. So we, we already gave you, uh, dear audience, so many analogies like your core your values the bird who is flying uh the strong dancer the fruits that you have and you share uh and if you are not hungry then you can give food to the others but if you are hungry then you cannot really because first you have to stay alive right it's the same like when you <laughs> i think there was someone telling this example like when you are on the airplane and they say the emergency uh instructions they say that first put the mask on yourself because once you put your mask on yourself you can help your kid to put the mask on but if you don't do it first then you are not you are unable to help to the person next to you right yeah <laughs> so so yeah. many so many analogies we just we just have to be careful and, and aware of life and, and you will find so many examples mm -hmm. um that can resemble all these things what we are talking about so just want to say hi to felmar again thank you for tuning in thank you jasmine for all the beautiful comments thank you yan jade thank you why shelly i'm i'm hoping to pronounce it right it's a really nice to see you here and supporting priya and uh, watching this show and if you want to find out more about Pia, please uh, click on the link. I, I put the website from Pia here. So you just easily go to the comments and click on it. And then um, what, what's next? I mean, you wrote the book. You have all these, uh, all these beautiful things. Uh, what's next for Pia? What's, what's the, your next challenge? What's your next uh, out of My the next box? challenge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my next challenge is actually helping others, as I told you that, and I'm also writing my next book. So, you know, my next book is coming next year. And uh, my next challenge is to helping the underprivileged youth. I want to su support them because when I was growing up, I needed some directions. There was no internet era and I had not TV in my home as well. So I was not influenced by TV. Uh, sometimes I feel, thank God, <laughs> because I was influenced by book. I read a lot of books in my life um, and which become very good friend of mine. And I have learned a lot through books. But at the same time, I believe sometimes you do need mentors. You do, you do need people. So what I started helping youth in um, underprivileged uh, village area where they are educated, they, they know what they have learned, but they don't know how to implement it. So I'm helping them to become an entrepreneur. And the youth pro, uh, seminar is coming in November, end of the November or December. And um, I, I'm encouraging those youths to join the, you know, um, membership so we can help on the more um, daily basis kind of situation. I can invite mentors like you and all who can help me, help them to 
think clearly, uh, use their uh, thoughts and vision and implement them so that they, they can achieve the better life for themselves and the, for the future generation as well. Um, for me, the uh, the youth is the future. And, uh, you know, they have to be right. Um, they have to be following the and strengthening themselves so they can we can find form the better humanity uh, in going forward. So I'm trying to help those uh, students and kids. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing that we are at the Global Empowerment Summit, which is trying to connect the young and the wise. And the, it's so important to to do both. Like without the youth, there is no future. But without the 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 elderly the wise people there is no past and we don't have our roots right mm -hmm. so it's, it's super important that your work is is going towards the youth but it's also something that you uh your personality your generation the values that you bring from your past is it's it's our responsibility to give it to the people who will be in the yeah. future right just yeah. inherit it and and just to let them let them soak it in let them understand and and let them carry the tradition even if it's just a little bit but but just keep them connected with their roots yeah right? and i always believe you can't take anything up there including your wisdom you have to leave everything on this planet why don't you share why <laughs> beautiful analog again <laughs> you can take everything with you leave it here and leave the wisdom here everything for the next thing is gonna emerge in your soil on this planet earth why don't you share that so that it reaches to larger audience and the larger people and who can remember your legacy i've learned if i can change one person's life if, if i can um, transfer my knowledge to one person um i think my duty is fulfilled as a human being on this planet earth beautiful messages and everyone loves it janika is also writing i agree with your statement priya i love this talk and we have a here also amazing thoughts wisdom you are very gifted priya you got this <laughs> so a lot of supporters i'm really really happy to have you here and i have also something for the comments for the for the people who are watching us because uh, Priya will come back to the summit almost every single week. We will have a session with her and she will also have a workshop, the futuristic approach of marketing, because she's also not just in, in the self uh, exploration journey and not just writing books, but she's a talented, talented marketing uh, professional who was also giving me some tips how to make this summit better. And I'm really, really thankful for it. <laughs> and we will meet her again on the 28th of October at the Futuristic Approach of Marketing Workshop. So if you already have a free ticket, then you have the GES Workshop Room uh, Zoom link. And then you yeah. can just hop into any kind of workshops that we have. We have more than 70 workshops, mini workshops coming up for free. So if you have that little link, please make sure you read the emails coming from me, info at Change Your Life Socialize. It's in the 10 ultimate things that you have to do to onboard checklist. Uh, it's in your email box and you will see the Zoom links for the workshops. And Priya, what will be the thing that you will talk about it uh, in this uh, in this futuristic approach workshop? <laughs> I'll be talking about the future and it will be it is gonna be a very technical aspect we will I promise I won't lecture <laughs> and I will definitely try to bring some value add in your life you know it is it is purely gonna be uh, how you can use those tips and tricks here in your business uh, so that you can achieve what you want to achieve in your in your business and in your entrepreneurial journey so that's where I will be coming up very technical aspect and the marketing aspect human to human so, so don't forget don't forget on the on the 28th of october 2021 we have uh, priya with us at the futuristic approach of marketing workshop in the ges workshop zoom room you have already the tickets and you have already the zoom link with you so don't forget even this week we have 11 different workshops coming up we had uh, an amazing session with uh, felix tai yesterday about how to sell without selling it was really nice and uh, yes. we got a lot of a lot of exciting information from him about how to go from you know from the stranger through the through the audience to the community and to the client and then how it works and how you lead through the people and if you want to watch back this workshop you still have it in the youtube um and the gs tv so make sure you watch it back we have so much value but 
Priya, tell us a little bit more uh, something that would encourage the people to take the steps. Because what I see, we have a lot of tickets. Uh, we have a lot of people who got tickets. And uh, I want uh, the people to enhance their activities, to join us, to take the value. What would you say to the people watching us? Why is it important to be there for themselves? I always believe that, you know, there is, see, if you are, if you have initiated something, you should complete, you should never leave a job incomplete. So if you have bought the ticket, you have to complete by watching and finishing it. And once you bought, uh, learned something, you must implement it. It's not just mm -hmm. bubble effect that, oh, I learned something from Priya and Andrea and, you know, all those g geniuses are coming to under the speakers. But then you go and implement. That's where the actually we will be feeling happy. Okay, somebody took a advice a one only and implemented it and that made uh, some difference in their life it, that's very much important and if you are feeling you know under weather i always believe that there is always a weather problem in your life not a day you will pass where there will be no weather problem like whether it is a cold or a hot or a windy or a you know something is always there right life will be really boring if it will not be there so please buckle up, decide, I have to do it, and you will work up. And there was a one um, book I was reading, Five Minutes Rule, which is like five seconds rule or five minutes rule. And when you feel lazy and you think, oh, should I go or not? Uh, you know, in army, they say one, two, three, four, five, and you are out. So you will be out of your laziness mind. And will be there, must read that book. <laughs> that I remember Matt Robbins is using that too that uh, you do the five five seconds and then one two three four and then like come on you do it it's the same like when we were dancing and we had to go for a run or we have to you know uh, really uh, train, yeah. train very hard and then the trainer was saying one two three four five and go and then you had to run uh, around the room like <laughs> when we did the quick step and all it's very hard very uh, very uh, how you say that very hard uh, uh, physically hard uh, exercises, then you had to do this in five seconds. Yeah. You had to start to run, right? <laughs> yeah, but that actually builds your personality, right? That's the one which builds your the masterpiece you create, you know, the final dance. Amazing to watch. <laughs> exactly. People give you clap. People remember only flash shows, but people don't even remember the journey, right? But it is very much important for you to have your that five seconds rule that you know nothing can stop and you'll be unstoppable. You'll achieve what you want to achieve. But if you are actually taking those excuses, um, you know, time, I believe time is something is always uh, debatable, right? Everybody has a time and nobody has a time, right? <laughs> So time for is a choice, like Kiki, Kiki told me yesterday uh, when we were interviewing uh, Miss, uh, I think it was uh, Miss Manisha or Mamta, Dr. Mamta. And Kiki uh, is a Toastmaster, a very, very dear friend of mine. And he was like, well, time is all about choice. So you choose that you have time or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you have a if you don't have a time and if it is always uh, you have to think about do you, do I really don't have a time or do it is I have a lack of priority, right? Because if you prioritize something, you'll always make a time, right? Exactly. You don't have exactly. a time for somebody. I will not have a time for Andrea if I won't make it, right? So I will always have a time if I prioritize. You no, know, Andrea is very important in my life. I have to make that time, you know. <laughs> And there will be time always, you know. Um, I mean, there are so many uh, consequences and sequences in the life. I mean, we are not psychologists. Uh, we are all sharing just from our experiences what we felt and we have seen in our large family and, you know, and also from the uh, friends and the people we have been connected, right? But I'm telling you, five seconds rule works a lot of with a lot of people. You know, it worked with me for sure. <laughs> perfect, perfect. We have a question which is a little bit, I think, I believe, back to your book. Uh, what are your advice for someone who is being being bullied? It's from Mel Chan. Thank you very much, uh, Watchmel, for for uh, for putting this here and asking this question. See, the people. I believe I'll, I always believe that there will be always somebody who will be bullying you. There will be somebody who will not like your idea, right? So. I'm always a believer that, you know, you have to pass through. I know it is not easy, right? So I'm not going to give you 
uh, that psychological support if it is there if it is needed yes please go and find out the right help for yourself not everybody is self motivated if sometimes people get suppressed by someone or some some bad words it affects you i understand it's it's a very emotional journey and that's why we are different than the animals we are human right we can feel we if we feel every element right and whether we showcase it or not we feel it right when we feel it it hurts and i understand it not everybody can be so self motivated but if you have that kind of a support if you surround yourself for the people who are really going to support you must listen because sometimes when you are so annoyed you know with this different circumstances apart from the different people you don't hear your own people so if you get some kind of a help and if somebody is actually trying to help you please give that opportunity and listen and if that's also not helping helping just please seek for the professional help but must act you know action is everything i really love that you mentioned this i mean um imagine i always we we know what we are doing we know that we are supporting people here uh we know that it's a six week summit we know that it's a global empowerment summit we know that we have 200 plus uh expert but people don't see maybe why i'm doing it and i want to share this with you also and and i'm really happy that priya is with me when i'm sharing this i started this because most of my friends became stuck when the whole pandemic started and i wanted to give a platform that is bringing constant motivation from people all around the world and and it's not letting the people to just you know settle with with nothing settle with the pain right yeah. so yeah. what i wanted to do is to give this platform to the people and i don't have a team i have my own entrepreneurship mm -hmm. but i'm a solo entrepreneur right and people don't know that i don't have a team they see the website they come back to me uh, where to watch how to watch I'm, i'm emailing very patiently to everyone and they see the content on social media they see the six weeks and the 300 sessions that i'm putting up they see the calendar that is always filling up week by week but what they don't see is my commitment as my determination in the background that i'm working 24/7 in front of my computer with having little breaks for myself to to make this happen to to empower the people that all right i'm one person and no one can tell me any excuse anymore that they cannot do anything because it's mm. possible it's possible mm. you don't need a huge team you don't need so much money you don't need so many things i have my microphone my video i have my laptop i have a good internet connection and that's what you see yeah and this yes. is what i want the people to see that priya is not there just you know because someone is pushing her there and because someone is behind her like always like pushing from the back like priya do this do that no priya is motivated by herself i am motivated by my purpose and she is motivated by her purpose and because yeah. this is a strong enough purpose i can be stand stand standing or sitting in my chair for 24/7 and bringing this conference to you and priya can withstand the business and can take time to meet me and can take time to share value with you just yeah. because she's committed and determined right priya <laughs> yes it is and i mean we all started somewhere uh, and priya like um, there was time i was all by myself i created my art chart and i have created that like priya 1 priya 2 priya 3 priya 4 i have every designation and i named myself with the number and i if it time i changed it like i have now 22 support team with me i'm so proud of them they are my army and they are not just uh, just a team they are like a very patriotic towards the corporality itself we are very committed team so i'm very proud of my team and you know i can't say thank you enough to them but there was a time we all were alone there was a time we all have to push ourselves there was a time i was also going through the financial crisis right i i started my journey from the hunger to everything you know um i remember those days i used to uh, carry my drama script and i used to say will you buy in uh, 50 rupees 50 rupees and they said no 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 i'll give you 35 no 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 25 please 25 i need like right so that's that's the time you yes there were lot of lot of rejection happen and some people buy um but that but then i i'm so proud of that i learned so many negotiation skill through that right 
I le learned to resist. I learned the bubble effect is, you know, you can't just stick stuck on one success, you know, um, because if you're not maintaining that consistency, that persistency, then it's you, you're gonna, gonna stay behind somewhere. Right? There are a lot of people who are working hard, but they are not thinking is smart. They are not visionary. They are just turning the wheel because they have to. But if you are passionate about something, you will wake up without any push. And that's where you want to see yourself. And that's why Andrea has created this platform. And heads off to you, right? The way you have been working. And that's why I always keep asking if you need any help. We are here to help you, Andrea, always. But what I'm trying to say that, you know, even though so many people are asking you help, there very few people will come forward and say, let's let's pick up this brick together and let's form this building together, right? There are very few people will come to that one. But we all are in, and entrepreneurial journey is a very lonely journey, right? <laughs> Not many people can understand. If you will talk to them, 99% people will say, oh my God, I don't know what why what you are talking about. Some people think I'm, I'm very greedy some because i'm always always looking for something new and i'm thinking it's not greediness it's the ambition i it's uh, curiosity it's, right <laughs> yes. i'm like i want to go further and further and further what else is there i'm curious i want to see the world right and that's what is driving what is your passion you just need to tap into that passion and see you will find those miraculous movement which me and andrea has found in our work and all what we do is just showing that it's possible and you can just follow the same steps uh, by reading uh, Priya's book, by coming on the hub, by even just reaching out to one of the 200 experts. If you do that, then then maybe next day you will wake up motivated and you will say, hey, this guy or this lady uh, said something that was triggering my mind. and It's so good. I, and I want to go for it. And this yeah. is what we want. This is the goal of everything in giving. Right. And uh, yeah. Jasmine is saying spot on. We have Jeff always supporting beautifully said Priya um, and, and Jasmine is back again simply amazing so it's not about really about the person I want to make it sure that you understand here it's not about the Andrea the name behind right I'm just a person just like you it's more about the idea of being someone who shows you the way that it's possible Yes. And you don't have excuses anymore that you're busy, that the weather is bad, that you woke up in a bad mood, that you cannot attend, that your family is, you know, is busy around and you cannot make your time. Because at the end of the time, we are living a short life. And as, yeah. uh, prior, uh, as we said before, Priya, sorry, I'm just so enthusiastic that I'm making the words up. <laughs> so, Priya, <laughs> as Priya said, that, that it's, it's all about this journey that we have here to collect as many experiences as you can, to help as many people as you can, to fix your situation, not perfectly, no one is perfect. So you just fix it in your own pace until you are feeling that you are fulfilled. And then when you leave, you leave the wisdom behind and you give it to people. And this is why we are here. This is what we try to give to you, a little bit of legacy of our generations, a little bit of knowledge and wisdom, what we went through and sharing it and not telling you what to do you just i just give you choices priya is giving you choices choices to stay where you are yeah. forever imagine in 50 yeah. years where you are today with all that pain or changing it up and in two years in three years in five years in 10 years being where you really want to be and writing a book yeah. doing your own business mm -hmm. having a beautiful family uh, being very um loved and and spreading love that's where we are going right priya <laughs> that that is what it is and if you really need help this platform is created to help you so you reach out and if you want a private reach out you can reach out to privately andrea or whomsoever you can connect these 200 people are here to support you so sometimes you do need help sometimes you need one-to-one -one connections and communications there are so many mentors joining in here so who is actually offering their service um yes there might be some little cost involved but there are some people who might be able to help you if you have a financial trouble we are also providing the platform to support that vision as well so uh, we are just here to support your vision just come and talk and we'll find out the solution but don't assume the solution solution is there you know in 200 people there are always some something somebody can offer you
We have people from the mentors, from the 200, who you will find on the website who are with the mentor badge. That means that yeah. they are freely offering their services to mentor you. So you can really contact them and reach out and they will be there for you. And also every Sunday uh, from, uh, I think it's from next week on, we have the secret rooms, which is kind of like a crisis room where you can log in. Uh, you don't have to show your camera, camera, the voice is enough, the audio is enough, and you can ask questions from counselors, from psychologists, from mental health specialists and advisors, if you have something that is really uh, bugging you, something that you are uh, struggling with, then that's the place to be because it starts right here, right? Yeah. It starts, yeah. starts right with you by joining in and being there for yourself and reaching out to us because we are here for you. So now, are you yeah. there for yourself? That's the question. Yes. That's the question. <laughs> yes. And there are so many, if not in this forum, we can actually connect you. Where is that forum? And we will re reach, uh, will help you to reach you to that forum so that you can get the right help. So there are, we have a huge network together and we all can help you. So you just have to act you now. So beautiful, beautiful time with you. I am really enjoying this morning from the time when I started with Brian and his magical fun show on LinkedIn. And then I was went amazing. to soul searching uh, with Annie Lieb. And then I went to uh, Bitcoin Metaverse with Darren T. <laughs> and now I'm here with you uh, talking about the journey of perseverance. So thank you very much for lightening up my day. And thank you very much for the audience for being here. And uh, I'm really, really happy to have here Mel, uh, Jasmine, Jagatis, Foshan. We have also, let me see, Janika. Uh, we also had Vaishali, Felmar. And I'm really, really thankful. And I appreciate uh, that you took the time and you are supporting us and you are here. Because that's, that's what it's all about, to, to do it together. Because together we are better. Rest. Right, Priya. <laughs> yeah. Together we are better and we are acting what we believe in. So exactly. Yeah. We walk the talk. So walk the talk with us. Uh, and uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Priya. Let's play one more time uh, the information about your book. If uh, you want to find Priya, just go to her website. And if you go to the globalempowermenthub.com webpage, then you will have the sponsor page where I put detailed information about Priya there, about her mm -hmm. journey, about the book, about the contact details so make sure you are searching and reaching out to her because she is there for you thank you very much and uh, have an amazing lunch time i will go for a break and really have my my me time a 15 minutes break <laughs> before i start the afternoon and everything else in the backstage um priya i love you thank you very much for supporting and and have an amazing day in yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your time today and inviting me. It's an honor and a pleasure for, for you and joining your audience. Have a nice day, everybody. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> See you later. Yeah.